Throughout the state, bonding hot mix asphalt mixtures to existing Portland cement concrete pavement is a continuing problem. Failure to achieve a good bond causes issues such as potholes. This is worse at intersections where a more expensive overlay is needed to fix the problem. Researchers at the Center for Transportation Research at the University of Texas at Austin are looking into best practices to achieve an adequate bond between hot mix asphalt and concrete pavement. For this asphalt to work properly with the concrete pavement underlying it, you apply a layer of a tack coat, which is kind of a glue that is bonding the top asphalt layer with the bottom concrete layer. Uh, occasionally it so happens that uh, if the surface texture of the underlying layer is not good enough or if there's moisture or dust or the quality of tack coat is not appropriate or, or the chemistry of the tack coat is not appropriate with the concrete surface, you don't get a good adhesion between the tack coat and the concrete or between the tack coat and the asphalt above it. We've got a lot of concrete pavements throughout the state and historically they've had an, uh, an issue bonding hot mix layers to the top of them. Uh, so when we do hot mix to hot mix bonding, we actually have a test uh, that we can take a full depth core and we can test the shear strength of them. With concrete, that's difficult because we do continually reinforce concrete. So you would actually have to uh, core down over a foot into the concrete most times and go through rebar. So it's not really a feasible test to run uh, on, on concrete pavement. The main goal of this project or the goals for this project were to study what kind of processes should be used to prepare the underlying concrete surface and how can we evaluate the quality of the bond between the asphalt and the concrete through that tack coat layer in both a, in a lab scenario and also in the field. And so part of this was also developing a, a field test that you could use for quality control purposes. The work done included both field and laboratory work where we cast concrete pavement samples and, and, and compacted an overlay on them and put a tack coat in between and measured in the laboratory the shear strength and the pull-off strength. And then we also did some field work where we went out to actual sites where there's concrete pavement with a hot mix overlay and we did coring so we could bring that back to the laboratory to do the shear testing. What they did is they did take some full depth cores for research, uh, but they also developed an in situ test where they could take uh, these little one inch cores in place, do traffic control, not go all the way through the concrete uh, and do a pull off test right there uh, on, on the roadway. And so they were able to correlate that test to the shear test. So we have a pretty good idea of what we feel is uh, good quality in terms of bonding. So ensuring that we have the best quality materials and the best design processes to avoid premature failures and best design processes that will extend the serviceable life of payment will ensure that we make best use of these taxpayer dollars. It was a good study. It kind of reaffirmed what we thought were good practices. Uh, I think we, we do have a little bit more we could build on it in terms of what products maybe work the best uh, and kind of pinpoint that. Uh, but it also gave us this in-situ test to get more of an idea of when we do place it, did we get the performance we thought we would we'd get, uh, whereas normally we can't do that just due to the depth that we have to core through concrete. For more information and to find the publications for this project, please visit the Research Library at the link shown below.